So I'm going to make an assumption here. I think a lot of you viewing are at around the age of 16 in their purities. And what I know about that time, which I struggled with a lot, is even though that you're not popular, how are you going to get social media likes? Uh, because nowadays, and it's really weird, but it's the truth, popularity is based on your social media. And if your social media is bad, people are not going to look at you, people are not going to spend any time at you at school or anything like that. So uh, I thought I'd make this video to make it a bit easier for you guys to get more likes even though that you're unpopular so that you could have a nice time at school and just survive your puberties. And I know that in a previous video I said stop focusing on numbers and that might be the best thing to do and it gives a lot of rest in your head. But I know when you're in your puberties, you're just not going to do that and you're always going to look at your photos and how many likes you're getting and other people are going to look at those photos and see how many likes you're getting. And then if they see, oh, that's a lot of likes, oh, this, this person must be cool. So then they hang out with that person. It's just the way it goes. And I'm going to help you guys with some practical tips you can use to boost your likes in general, even though you're unpopular. So the first one is don't expect people to like or comment on your photos or videos if you are not returning the favor. It's that easy. If you scroll through your Facebook feed and are not liking anything, don't expect any likes back. If you start liking other people and commenting other people, when they see a photo of you, they will think, oh, he did they will know that you engaged on their content and they are most likely to return the favor. It's just how it goes. It's an easy and quick win, but definitely worth it. The second tip, which you might have heard quite some time, but it's really important. Are you one of those persons that has a nice photo and it just pops in your head and like, oh, I'm gonna post this on Facebook right now. And you take your mobile phone and you start uploading it and there you go, you got your new post. Well, it's completely wrong to do if you really want to get the most out of your likes because a lot of people might not be online at the time that you post. So it's really important to choose the moments when you post your photos. And what I usually do, which really works, is uh, in general, people wake up at around eight o'clock and at nine o'clock they start with school or they start with work or anything like that. So at eight o'clock they'll wake up and the first thing people do is watch social media. So if I post 10 minutes before eight o'clock, it's a perfect sweet spot to get most out of my likes. And then a second time is around four o'clock, but around four o'clock, because around four o'clock, people are going to finish their work, their school, anything like that, and they returning home, maybe by bicycle, maybe by train or anything. But the first thing they do is check social media again because they couldn't have done that the whole day. So those sweet spots around eight o'clock in the morning and around four o'clock in the afternoon, those are the perfect times to post and you'll get most out of your likes. And besides that, don't, don't post a lot of photos if you're not getting a lot of likes. Um, usually how it works is if people like a photo of yours and the next day you post another photo and the next day you post another photo and another photo. People are going to have this thing in their head where they say, okay, I like this first photo. If I now start liking the second photo, it might seem stalky. I might seem like a stalker, so I'm not gonna like this. Or it just shows too much interest in you. Well, so I think if you're not getting a lot of likes, it's essential not to post too much photos. So start posting like one time a week or maybe one time every two weeks. Do that so you'll get the most out of your likes as well. So third tip, which I don't really use a lot and I think it's really cheesy, but somehow it really works, especially, uh, <laughs> especially with women. Uh, is using inspiring quotes as your description. Don't just use descriptions as LOL, look at this guy or something like that. No, use sentences that bring up a certain emotion. So an example which I used was right after I quit my corporate job, 
I used the quote, uh, I've quit my corporate job to live life on my own terms and it's been the best decision I've ever made. That got a lot of likes and I'm an introvert, I don't have a lot of friends and somehow I got a lot of likes. So using descriptions that bring up emotion and use sort of like quotes or inspirational sentences really work. So try think of that and don't just use a random word or a random emoticon. This only works if you have a lot of followers, which is not the case because you wouldn't be watching this video. So another thing is, which is quite important as well, is look at your target audience, look at your friends or your following, everything you have, and then post photos based on their interest. So let's say a lot of your friends on Facebook or a lot of your followers on Instagram are into the soccer world, all right? Then post a photo of you playing soccer, which will get more likes because they can relate to that. If you just post a picture of your dog with not even your face in it, don't expect a lot of likes because people are just not interested in this dog. They're interested in you and soccer. Another example could be maybe uh, the majority of your following and friends are from nightlife and festivals, all right? So then post a photo where, you, where you're entering a festival with your friends or maybe alone or whatever. That will get a lot of likes because people can relate to that. So try to build your content in terms of your target audience. Really important. So another thing that I actually recently discovered, I think like a year ago, I started using Lightroom. I started to edit my photos. And for an example, I can throw two photos in the screen. And you can see them here. There's a massive difference between the two photos. The one at the right is not edited and the one at the left is edited. It just brings so much more feeling to the photo, which will in the end make people like it more. So editing your photos is quite easy to do and it's, it, it just really helps you get those likes. So if you want a tutorial about that or just uh, I want to learn you guys, but I don't know if you're interested in that, but make sure to hit that in the comments if you're interested in that, but definitely start to edit your photos. On the other hand, Lightroom is quite expensive. It's a software of Adobe, but there's also free tools. Maybe you can use VSCO, the app, and there you can just get your photos a bit better. Uh, I can explain that as well for you guys. Just make sure to let me know. But those things are really essential to get more likes. Make sure to do it and check it out. So the last point, which could be a really important one for you as well, is what if you have no friends? What if you have no followers and you need to get likes? I mean, I've been there, I've really been there. I'm an introvert, I managed to learn how to be social and fun and get friends and everything like that. But when I was 16, I didn't know how to do that. And a good way to build a following is to make friends within your hobby. To explain this, when I was not popular at school or I didn't have a lot of friends, the thing I did is I went playing computer games, all right? And at computer games, I meet a lot of people and those people became friends. I had them on Facebook and on Instagram and they started liking my photos. And the thing about psychology with people in general, if people from your high school, for example, don't like your photos, it's more likely because you don't have a lot of likes. If you start having around 20 or 30 or 40 likes, people are more likely to like it as well because it has a certain snowball effect. It's not that risky anymore for them to like your photo. So once you get that start base from friends with your new hobby, so let's say computer gaming, or may, maybe you want to paint, or maybe you have dance classes, anything like that, make sure you engage with them on social media. They will like your post initially, and then after that, other people will start liking because you have that initial like base. That's just how it works. I think this world is fucked up. It's weird as hell. It's weird as hell that your pop popularity is based on your social media presence, but especially in puberty and high school, that's just the way it goes. And this video is actually just to help you get through this because for me, it's been really hard. 
I think social media was just around the corner. There weren't a lot of YouTubers explaining this kind of stuff. So it was, it was really tricky. So I hope I help you guys with this. If I did help you, make sure to give a like on this video because it will boost my video and in the end it will make me very happy. Also make sure to subscribe because I'll make similar videos like this uh, just in general to boost your online presence but also to create an online business and start to make money. That's coming up soon. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you guys in the next video.